This demonstration will look at installing the vSphere web client. Now if we had the Virtual Center Linux appliance it would actually be automatically installed as part of the install and the setup of the Virtual Center server. But because I have the Windows vCenter server I do have to install it manually. Now the web client is the replacement for the actual old C Sharp or vSphere client that we used to use on our Windows operating systems. And it comes with version 5.1 and it is the future of managing your VMware environment. So to install it this is the desktop of my Virtual Center server. So all I need to do is get hold of the installer files. So what I've done here is I've just copied them on the C drive, copy them in the lab files folder and I have them in my vSphere 5.1 installer files. So we'll just run the DVD. This will pop up here and what we want to install is the web client. So we'll highlight web client, click install. It says here that one of the prerequisites is the fact that we have the vCenter single sign-on up and running. I do have that. Um, I had that as part of the simple install of the vCenter server which installed the single sign-on components, the inventory service and the vCenter server itself. So we'll just select OK here. This is going to go away and just start extracting all of the files. So now just decompressing the uh, the client MSI itself. So I'll run watch this blue ball move across the screen, get the initial installer screen. Let's just pause the video and return back once we get the initial installer screen. Right, so we're now at the initial installer screen. So all we'll do here is we'll just select the next button. I'll read through the patent agreement for the web client and select next. Read through the actual license agreement. Accept the terms and select next. Right, we'll install it into the default folder on my virtual center server and select next. We'll stick with the default ports and select next. Actually this port here, just while I think about it, this will be here 9443, the default port which I'll connect to. So we'll select next at this point. Right, so as we can see here, it's asking us about our single sign-on information. Now when I installed my vCenter server uh, earlier on, what I did was I set up my single sign-on administrator password at that point there. So I'll just type this in now. Once I have that in, happy with the, uh, the default for the lookup service, so select next. And the next thing to do is just click install. Now this will take a little while just for this to install, we won't sit and watch this, so what we'll do is we'll just pause the video and return back once the installation is complete. Right, so that's it now finished, so we'll just select the finish button, close down the installer, and the next thing to do is just launch up a web browser and just verify that the installation is actually complete and we can access the web client. So what we'll do here, I'm just going to use Chrome, so we'll just launch up Chrome. And on Chrome all we need to do is just do HTTPS colon, I'm going to do it actually on localhost but obviously if I was connecting to this from the one of my desktops or from the outside world I'd need to put in a valid uh, fully qualified domain name in here. So as you can see I'm using port 9443 which was specified as part of the install. We then just proceed through, it is a self-signed certificate. And what we can see here, it's actually drawing the website so the next thing to do is once this finally finishes is just log in with our administrator username and password. Right, so login as administrator, stick in my password, as you can see here I could have used my Windows session credentials if I would wanted to, so I'll just log in though. So here you go, this is the web client, so if we just have a quick look at this, so if I just go to my vCenter page here, what we can see here is I've still got my host and clusters view, VMs and templates, storage networking as with the, uh, the other vSphere client. What I've also got as well is quite nice, I've got these inventory lists which cuts down on the number of clicks that I need to, to use to actually access my system. And that's the end of this demonstration of installing the VMware vSphere web client. Thank you.